So the Windows Active Directory section from the PWK was absolutely nothing like I expected. What's up guys, this is Ryan from Elevate Cyber. Now, I don't mean for this to be too negative of a video or anything like that. Obviously, I love OSCP. Um, I love the guys over at Offensive Security. Uh, however, like I was saying, it was just nothing like I thought it would be. And... You know, fortunately for me, I've already done quite a bit of Active Directory stuff through the different CTFs that I've done, uh, different learning that I've, you know, went out and done on my own, uh, you know, using Try Hack Me, other resources as well. So I don't think that this is too much of a detriment for me personally. However, if you were someone that, you know, you're coming into the PWK, right? Coming into the OSCP as someone that's, you know, pretty new to all this stuff, new to Active Directory, then I think that just the course alone leaves you pretty intimidated and you don't really, you're not really armed with, in my opinion, the, you know, what you need in order to learn this for the real world. Now, I can't speak to the exam because... I haven't taken the new version. I mean, I guess technically no one has taken the new version of the OSCP exam, um, at least until another nine days, I think, or or so. I think it comes out on the 11th. Maybe it's the 14th, but yeah, pretty soon that Active Directory version of the exam is going to be coming out. And I'll, I'll say one thing. Uh, I will not be <laughs> using their methodology at all um, or their sort of techniques that they uh, showed showed us in the PWK to solve the Active Directory machines because, and, and here's why, right? So the approach that they take, you know, and, and I'm not really giving away any insider information here because um, you could find the, uh, the table of contents uh, on their site for the uh, PWK course. Uh, you can see all the topics that it covers. So I'm not really divulging any internal information here. Um, but as someone who has went through the Active Directory section on the PWK, what I will say is that what they teach you is all very uh, low-level information, like really nitty-gritty stuff. Um, they really focus in on doing everything super manual, which, I mean, that's fine. That that alone is completely okay, right? I mean, I think that you know, offensive security definitely prefers people to learn things the really manual way first, which that's not bad by any means. Um, however, they make absolutely no mention of very, very popular tools that you'll use on every single Active Directory assessment that you ever do in the real world. For example, they made no mention of Responder. They made no mention of Crack Map Exec. Um, they made no mention of Bloodhound, right? And even if you didn't want that to be the focal point of you know the section, and obviously they had limited you know, limited um, space to include what is a, a whole other discipline in itself. Active Directory could have been an entire course. I mean, it kind of is on the OSEP, right? The um, the follow-up to the OSCP. Uh, however, you know, I, I really support their decision to make Active Directory a bigger part of the OSCP. But with that being said, I just wish that the training material was a little bit more helpful for someone that, you know, might not be coming into this with any prior knowledge, prior experience in Active Directory pen testing. So I really think that even still with all the exam changes and everything like that, as someone who has actually went through and done this stuff, I still think that OSCP does not prepare you enough, uh, in my opinion, uh, for real world active directory pen testing maybe that will change in the future but i honestly have to make that um that snap judgment call from what i've seen so far uh, i still think that if you want to get into real world you know pen testing red teaming you know anything that has to do with active directory i really think that you're gonna want to do uh, you know, another certification in addition to OSCP. Maybe that's CRTO, maybe that's CRTP. You know, you're going to want to do one of those um, to really prepare you. you know, or if you don't want to go the cert route, you know, you got your training available from TryHackMe. They have the throwback labs. Uh, you have the offshore labs. 
uh, Rasta Labs, all of that stuff from um, Hack the Box as well. You got a bunch of different options to play around with there. But the PWK OSCP by itself, is it enough? I don't really think it is, uh, unfortunately. Because, you know, you're going to learn certain things, but there's a lot of things you didn't even, they didn't even really teach you at all. Like, we didn't do, I don't think that we did any uh, as rep roasting, which is very common. Um, you know, password, you know, like basically figuring out what people's, you know, what their email structure looks like so you can enumerate user accounts, you know, using Kerbrew or tools like that. We didn't really do that. We didn't even use Rubis a lot. Like a lot of the context of this stuff, which was really cool, you have a Windows client machine uh, that is attached to the domain, right? It's a part of the domain. So that means you can use a lot of PowerShell, uh, a lot of native Windows tools, uh, or even, you know, add-on Windows tools, right, to assist you with your testing. I think it would have been really cool if they were to teach us a lot of um, different things you could do with Rubis because that is something that I don't get a lot of opportunity to use because normally when I'm doing CTFs and things like that, I'm doing it from, you know, a Kali Linux machine. So I'm, I'm just using Impacket, uh, the Impacket tool suite, right? Now, because of this, you know, you've got a system on the domain, uh, we can just start running attacks from our Windows box. So, you know, PowerShell, they did cover a lot of PowerShell, so I'm happy for that. But yeah, Rubis is a tool that people use all the time. There was no mention whatsoever of that, um, which I think they just kind of really missed the mark, in my opinion. Uh, what do you guys think of it? If you've taken it, um, and, you know, if you went through the PWK and stuff like that, what do you think of the Active Directory section? Personally, I found it to be really underwhelming. Uh, another thing was that, yeah, so a lot of it was, um, here's a few you know, nuances of Active Directory. I feel like they really focused in on some really, really niche case things. Um, just personally, I felt like that. Um, some of the things were pretty fundamental. Like they did cover uh, golden ticket attacks, silver ticket attacks, which is great. But they also covered a lot of really outdated, um, a, a couple really outdated uh, attacks uh, Active Directory wise, which is fine to understand the fundamentals, right? Like we're doing buffer overflows without any ASLR or DEP or anything like that. And that's fine because from a conceptual standpoint, you know, it's easier to understand and, you know, it, it could be good practice, I suppose. But I, yeah, I really hope to see more modern uh, active Directory attacks and things like that as well. Now, they did cover some modern things, right? Like, you could definitely find silver ticket attacks out there. But there was no client-side attacks at all, which that is something that is extremely, extremely prevalent um, to come across on a real-world uh, engagement um, of Active Directory, right? You're probably going to be using Responder, right? You're probably going to be doing some kind of attack against another client on the domain. There was absolutely no mention of that too much. I don't think, I'm trying to think now, I don't think we did anything against another client. I could be wrong about that, but so that's really surprising. And I have a feeling that, you know, I haven't really dove into the labs of the um, Active Directory related boxes on the PWK labs, but I have a feeling it will, in, it will encompass things like that, right? And I just don't know how you really figure that out from... What they give, what they've given you here in the PWK, I don't know how you go from the material they presented to you to being able to actually exploit Active Directory. Um, they gave you a lot of really manual PowerShell commands you can run. They they showed you how to use very manual power view commands, which is fine. I'm a big proponent of yeah, know your tools, know what you're using, um, but. You should at least, you know, know how to do it the quicker way too, the way that everyone's going to do it, right? People aren't going to be running manual power view command, and unless you're trying to be ultra stealthy, right? If you, you know, you're on a red team engagement, you need to be really stealthy. You can't afford to run bloodhound collector agents, um, you know, bloodhound ingesters. That'd be too noisy. Okay, maybe you want to fall back on some power view commands uh, that you can run very stealthily, maybe one per day or something like that, right? But that's not the context of the OSCP, right? You can be as noisy as you want. So they should have at least mentioned that, hey, 
even though we're showing you, you know, this is how you, you know, first they show you how to do it, you know, with the manual power view commands you're running individually. Then after that, they should say, well, also, if you run, you know, Sharp Hound or, you know, Python Blood, Bloodhound, uh, it's running these power view commands for you and, you know, generating these JSON files that you can then import into Bloodhound to get a graphical view of the Active Directory domains that uh, you're dealing with, right? They, they, they could have just mentioned that at least at the end, right? Just so the newer people would know like, okay, here's an option that I have. Now that I know how to do this manually, I know how to, you know, run, you know, import PowerView and run these manual commands. I at least know the way that everyone else is doing it, right? So I think they could have at least added that or like at least mentioned it, but they didn't at all. So... I think for me, where I'm at with Active Directory, it was a good section. It really was because it's like, okay, I'm used to using, you know, Crack Map Exec, Bloodhound, um, Responder, all these tools. Uh, but it was nice to see, okay, here's how, you know, here's what these tools are doing in the background, right? Here's the power view commands that's being run by these agents, you know, like Sharp Hound and all that. Uh, you know, here is some vanilla PowerShell that can, you know, you know, execute a silver ticket attack uh, or a golden ticket attack, things like that, right? That was good. That, that was good information. It was, uh, the theory um, was supplementing the knowledge that I already had. But as a standalone, if I came in with no knowledge, I just don't see how this section, honestly, I think that if I came in with no knowledge, I would just leave this section feeling even more intimidated by Active Directory. That's just my take on it. But what's your take? Uh, once again, let me know down in the comments section below. I really wanted to let people know what they're getting into with this because this was not at all what I expected. So just a little heads up for you guys. But yeah, let's start this discussion down in the comments section below. And uh, if you are, you know, as always, if you're eager to get into some more content, got the videos on screen for you guys right now. Thanks for watching. See you right over there.